Good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to learn a very quick topic, symbolic indexes for list. So this we use these five indexes like symbolic indexes we have we use for page list and value list. Okay, and we will be seeing that how we use that basically for indexes like let's say that you have index one page list like let's say you have employee page list one two three four so sometimes we don't have exact value in integer okay so in place of that one let's say if you want to append so like already there are like two items in the page list and you want to append the third one but you don't know that how many indexes you already have that and or what is the size of your page list so in that kind of a situations we use append okay so we'll go a one by one and we'll see so the first one if i explain okay so append is basically simply it will append one item in the last let's say you have employee list and there are two employee already there okay and if you want to add third one okay but you you don't know the indexes that how many employee already there then use append okay so if, if you use append then it will add to that uh, list one more the last is that it will refer to the last indexes okay let's say you already have that three employee id and in last index okay you don't want to add like you can add like uh, uh, on on the last index of employee id let's see if you want to add another attribute then in that case we can use last uh, let's go in pega and then maybe you'll get more when we'll do that hands on on these topics so let's let's do that so what i have done here i have already created so here this is the like this is where if you if you search in pdn you will get that okay so maybe I can attach this link to you. So here I've already created a, a data transform call, called learn page list symbolic indexes. So the first one which I'll be using is that the append one. Okay, so here what I'll be doing, I have already a page list, a prover list. Okay, so in a prover list, this is referring to a class, but I'll be using out of the box property called py label. If you have any property from this class also, we can use it. So the first index which I'll be using, so here see, uh, what I'm saying is that like normally what we do for index we give uh, like one two three four so if I'll give like this py label okay let's say py label then it will work py label so then I'll say okay John and then and I can add it like this okay so it will be two okay so do this is fine so let me run this and show you in tracer So if I run, you can see that, okay, we, we added two indexes, okay, of approval list, okay. So the first, on the first index, we set the value, John, and in the second one, we set the value, do. So this is fine, okay, if you see here on the tracer also, we should see that, okay, approval one and approval two. So this is fine, so you are adding for the first time, but what if you don't know that how many items you already have in that list, right? So in that kind of a situation, what you can do? So the one the one thing which you can do is that you take that length of this page list okay so out of the box fun out of the box functions is there which will return the size of the length and then you can do plus one right so but that is like a tedious process so what pega has done it pega has given a feature okay that we can use index symbolic indexes in that way we can add it into append okay so it will add into the last so let's say if you want to add third so we can do it like this append so in this one let's say i can say amit so now what it will do automatically it will add into the third index okay so let's run and see again so let's do that so see here at index 3 it added another one called amit okay so this is what happening even even if you don't know the the total length of the page list okay you are able to add it in the last let me add another one so if i'll do amit and this time i'll say Naveen, let me run it again. It will add one more. Okay, so this is fine. So it's adding. So you can see that it added Naveen. But what if? Okay, so this is append is working fine, no issue. So I hope you got it. That append is like if you want to add a new item in the last. Okay, so then append will work. But what if that if you want to add on the last? item only you want to add more attribute okay like like here that Naveen is there right so py so I can say that let's say py first name first name so py first name is there okay I think py first name 
or let's say py label only okay so py label is there but we want to add py node also in this one okay so let's say py uh, uh, label is holding the first name and then if you want to add that on this same for the navin only we want to add that let's say navin singh okay so if you want to add this one so what we need to do we need to say last so what it will do it will go onto the last index and add a new attribute okay so let's run again and see for this one as well so this so you can see that here uh, where is Navin one second we added a paint and then last right so py level I think we override it in that property so I'll just say like this so now if I'll run what will be happen so the usage of list is that it will add another attribute on the last item right you can see that it added here but what if i'll do it here okay this the same thing i'll do okay after amit so then on the second index also after this one so after this one right so this is the first index this is the second and this is the third so if i'm doing here in a step four step four means that last index is three so on last index three it will add another one okay let's say so here we are saying amit kumar so if i'll run now what it will do Okay, on index 1, we will get the py level equals to john. On py level 2, index 2 will get john equals to do. And then append, it will, third index it will add. And then on that same index, it will add that uh, Amit Kumar. And then on fourth, we will get Navin Singh. So let's run and see that again. So see, on third index, we got py node and py level. And on fourth index, we got py node and py level. Okay, so Navin Singh and then Amit Kumar. So you're getting it. So the first we understood that uses append. So append will it will always add in the last. Okay. So it's like you have employee list or you are like keeping a book. Like you are you have a stack of book. Okay. So what you are doing, you are adding another book on top of it. Okay. It's like that. But what then you can ask the question: What is last? So last is that is the it's the last row in that row only you are adding more books you can say that like that okay so you can see that on last when we are using last index it's adding another attribute on the last item okay so if i come again back to our slide so we saw append and we saw last now question says that what is that insert okay so insert is what it does it it will insert a new in the uh, like uh, wherever we want to insert okay so we can give the index also so let's say we have total how many page list we have okay so we have one two and then again another one append and another one so total we have four page list let's say if you want to add in place of four okay in between one and two i want to add something else okay so let's see how we can do that so we'll say approval list dot py level okay and we'll say uh, insert okay just i'll say the insert okay and in this time we need to give indexes like this insert okay and then outside this one we need to say that after which one you want to insert okay so as of now what is happening if you see this one just take a look carefully okay so here we have on index one we have john and index two we have a do and then in index three we have amit kumar and index four we have sing navin okay so let's let's see that let let's see how it will it will be look like the next one okay so what i'll be doing maybe i'll uh, let's mean take a screenshot if i can show you okay so let me see that if i can place here no it's not doing that okay fine i can show you later okay but but i hope you are getting it right so here we have on index one again john and second do let me run that and see what is happening so if you see here okay it insert okay so i asked to insert on positions one okay so it inserted at positions one so what happened the john do moved to positions two okay so earlier what i told it it will insert it between one and two no that is not true so sorry for that so what insert is doing it will insert wherever we will say okay and it will push down the other things below so here we are saying insert to one so it inserted on one okay if you see here so on in, uh, earlier we have the john on index one and now we have insert on index one because we have inserted let's let's try another one so now if i'll give two so so here we have on one we have john and one two on two we have do now what will happen on two we'll see insert so it will shift down so john on one do will be on two and then uh, sorry jo, uh, john will be on one and 
insert will be insert will come on two and then this dough will come on three so let's try again let's try and see that so you can see that as i was say, saying the john came and then insert came on two and then do keep so basically what is happening here with insert so insert we are using and then after that we are index giving an index that where we want to insert that one okay so now we have a total four okay and in between four only we were trying to insert okay so if you see how many inserts we have i mean like one two and then three and four now this insert is there right so we are trying to insert so total four so either we can insert till four. Let's see if I'm giving five, then what will happen? It will insert. It will still work, but it will insert in the last. See, it inserted in the last. So the way we had it, it was working. So one Joe, second Joe, and then on three Amit Kumar and fourth Navin Singh. And on fifth, we inserted it. So it worked. But what will happen if I'll give six? Will it work? Let's see that. So we got an error on, on tracer also we got an error and it is saying we got index out of bond exceptions. Why we got index out of bond exceptions is that because our like uh, here if you see the total indexes we have already five only four and then on fifth only we can add it. But what we are asking system to insert at six positions but there is no fifth position. So in array we cannot like skip that positions we need to give that and that is where we are getting array out of bond exceptions index exceptions if you see in the tracer here uh, uh, index out of bond exceptions so means we can only give if you if your page list size is four okay then you can give five you can give less or you can give plus one okay you cannot give plus two plus three if you give that plus two or plus three using insert then it will fail and it will give an exception okay. So we learn, let's, let's revisit again. So we learn, like we can give one in one way we can add into the page list is we can give one to like this directly in integer value. Okay. The second one we can give is that append. Okay. So it will add a new page list. The last we can use it for adding that item. Okay. Another attribute on the last index. Okay. Last row, which we have added. And then we learn insert. Okay. So insert will insert will insert on the, the positions, which will give as a in, integer value which will give now the next one which we will learn is the prepend okay so let's see that so what prepend does is so what prepend does it it will push down from top so insert was give taking an options that okay i want to first index i'll just say something like that okay first index so what insert was doing it was inserting on the given index but what prepend will do prepend will add it in the top okay and it will push push all indexes down so we have one two three four okay and then i'll just comment that insert for now so we have four indexes as of now what will happen prepend it will add it and it will move shift of uh, this one one in place of two and then two will get shift like so it will shift all by one okay so let's see that one will move to two two will move to three and then here we have a three three will move to four and four will move to five so let's see that so we'll see that first index okay when i'll run see we saw that it moved right so it prepaint added on the top okay so you can see that we got first index here so this is how prepend adds okay so let's say if you have an usage right so if you want to add it in top okay in that kind of a usage you can use this prepend and insert use it like if you know that after this one in like let's say you have a 20 employee list and in 20 employee list you want to add an item add a, another employee on 11th position so then you can use insert okay last you can use it like let's say that you already have like first name last name blah blah and then you want to add salary okay so on on the last you can loop and on the last one you can add like uh, while looping okay you can say that like looping or if you have the index then say that last and then add that salary details something like that you can use that and append is obviously to add a new item like let's say you have to add all together a new employee so you can just simply append it will add it to that last okay so we learn append last and then we learn insert also and insert also and we learn prepend now where we can use okay so what is the usage of current so current is like when we loop right so what is the current index like if i if i'm looping so if i if loop exec executing for the first time so the current index is one if i'm so that the loop is going second time then index is two okay like we do 
for loop in java right so what we do for uh, i equals to uh, like i let's let's say we uh, like uh, we execute till length of the arrays and each time we increase by one so similar to that here also i holds that index so here current will hold your index so let's say in a loop if you want to take some value okay each time so you can you can do that okay so how we can do that i'll just give you one example very simple one so let's say if i'm adding here and saying uh, for each page in okay so and here i'm saying i'm looping right so on this one i'm looping and so here i'm taking from this the same page list but you can use this index for something else also let's say here i'm saying current okay so looping and then taking that value of py level each time okay so if you see here and then i can take in param dot test okay in parameter so what will happen it will loop and each time it will like so here what will happen for the first time the value of current is one for the second time so we have total item in our loop is five okay one two three four uh, four and then prepend is five so total five so each time what will do it will loop, uh, loop this one five times and put push, put the value of the py level to param dot test so let's test that and try okay let's see if it is working or not okay So if you see here, see, so the first time what value it pulls, okay, so if you see the param dot, uh, param dot test equals to first index, which is correct, so the first index is we prepend, okay, on the top, and then after that we'll see the John, and then we'll see Amit, so let's see that, so after that, if I'll see here, right, so somewhere we should see Amit, and here also we have the same value, if I just go a little more up, we'll see that same correct value, if I see here, right, so if I see here, we should see the john yeah correct and then and then after that we'll see the uh, do and in the last then last index what we should see we should see that that the navin okay which came from here this one so this is how the current works so currents holds uh, in the loop currents holds that index of that key like like i right if you compare with the for loop so the i holds that index so here the similar way current holds that index so we, 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 we completed all the symbolics indexes. Let me again repeat. And when this use current scenario, so current we use a lot when we are looping and trying to get the value of that one and putting into the some other, like here I tried, like similar way you, we use a lot, okay? So let's revisit again. So we learn like uh, by hard coding index, so one, two, three, four. Sometimes we hard code also if you know that there is only one item, okay, in that list. So we hard code it as well, okay? So sometimes we hard code one and two. If you're not hard coding and if you want to add append any items in the last, you can use append. If you want to add any, uh, uh, if you want to add one element, okay, in the on that array or on that page list, okay, and if you don't know the index and if you want to add it to the last, just use that last index. And then we have insert. So if you have already a page list and if you want to add any any new pay, new item into that page list and uh, on a particular index so that you can use insert and then after that you need to give six okay you need six or whatever the, with the value wherever you want to insert okay so that you need to give and then prepend is like if you already have a page list and if you want to add something on the very top so then you can use prepend and then current also we learned just now that it will hold the current index okay so that's it for today's sessions and if you're liking my sessions please do like and subscribe my uh, channel okay so that's it thank you thank you very much have a good day bye